YouTube. What is going on, y'all? It is your boy Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Modern Warfare 2 has, at the time of recording this video, been out for about 19 and a half hours now. Players from around the world have been hopping into Modern Warfare 2 to grind their way through the many, many progression systems within the newest Call of Duty title. With a new Call of Duty title comes plenty of new features and customization options that players can tweak and change to best suit their needs and wants. One of the many settings that players can change and a setting that I personally have changed myself is color customization. Through color customization, one of the many things that you can change is your HUD colors. HUD or heads up display are the things on screen that show things such as the domination flag points, SND bomb points and things like that. What this means is that you can change the colors that represent you yourself, your teammates, your enemies, and the objectives held by each, not only on your heads up display, but also on your mini map. As you can see here, I've personally changed my colors to a green and purple layout. The way that I achieve this is through selecting the Tritinopia filter and manually selecting the colors from the predetermined color palette. Yes, initially this setting was implemented to be an accessibility feature for those that are colorblind. However, many players and content creators, including myself, have decided to use this feature in a way just to customize their game and make their gameplay experience that much more enjoyable. Personally for me, the vibrant colors are a great way to easily distinguish between myself and my enemies even in the heat of battle. Beyond that, the vibrant colors create a far more enjoyable viewing experience for all of those that consume my content as the colors are more vibrant and they pop more, making them far more eye-catching. This may seem like a small and insignificant feature in the grand scheme of things however i think hud color customization is one of the most criminally underrated features in all of call of duty i am now going to give you a quick walkthrough and show you exactly how you can go about customizing your hud colors so as you can see here we are in modern warfare 2 so if you go ahead and open up your settings right here and you go down into interface if you click right here on color customization you can go ahead and change the color filter for the game overall, but you can also go down to the interface element colors, change your HUD color palette to Tritinopia, wow, Deuteranopia or Protonopia or just the default, and you can go ahead after that point and choose from the color palette and customize the colors on your HUD to exactly what you want. So that's it. It's incredibly straightforward and in just a few clicks, you too can have an incredibly vibrant and customized Call of Duty experience. With plenty of new features being implemented in Call of Duty, make sure to keep an eye out on the channel for videos just like this in which I go in depth explaining all of the new features that'll make your Modern Warfare 2 experience so much more enjoyable. But yeah guys, that's effectively going to wrap up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like and comment on it down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily uploads. For even more from me, be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content. Also, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, intel and so much more be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with ipc on all of our social medias as well as our website other than that i hope you all have a great rest of your day and that's been it peace